Hi everybody, today we're going to deconstruct a double paradiddle. Hi everybody, welcome to lesson two of the Rudiment series with Istanbul Mehmet Symbols. My name's Graham Hare and today we're going to look at a double paradiddle. Now many of you will be familiar with the sticking of a double paradiddle. It's in a group of six and the sticking is right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. Play it on the snare drum. sounds like that. I used the correct sticking, but I didn't use the correct stroke types. The correct stroke types for a double paradiddle are down, tap, tap, up, tap, tap, down, tap, tap, up, tap, tap. This is what it should sound like played correctly. Now those stroke types are important. If you need to recap on what the strokes are, please refer back to uh, lesson number one, looking at paradiddles. For example, if I played a double paradiddle now between my hi-hats and the snare drum using the incorrect volumes, it's gonna sound like this. With the correct stroke type volumes, So now we're playing the correct sticking and we're also playing the correct volumes. Let's put it into some grooves and add some bass drums like we did in the first video. There is six possible places we can add our bass drum matching it to our right hand. I'm not going to play all six simply because I've found the first four the most usable. Right hand bass drum position one. Adding right hand one and two. Adding the third right hand. And finally adding the fourth right hand. Why not try switching your snare drum off to give your snare more of a timbale sound? Which sounds fantastic with a double paradiddle. Some more ideas to make your double paradiddle a bit more creative. This time I'm going to let my right hand move around the toms. I'm just going to go snare to first tom, snare to second tom, snare to floor tom, snare back to second tom. bit faster sounds like this. In that last demonstration I used my right hand to move around the toms. This time 
I'm going to use my left hand around the toms. I'm going to slow that down for you. Now what would a double paradiddle fit with? It fits really well with triplets. Simply double the value of the notes from triplets to groups of six. It also fits very well with a half-time shuffle. So there's a shuffle rhythm. To create a half-time feel, we need to remove one of those snare drums. So instead of playing the snare on two and four, you're only gonna play the snare drum on three. Okay, everybody, I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson on a double paradiddle. Next time, we'll be looking at triple paradiddles and paradiddle diddles. See you on the next one.